So what is pleated wire mesh and why should I use it? Don't worry, I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and when you're working in the world of filtration, a general concern is the throughput of your filter components. You'll probably want to apply fabrication techniques that alter the profile of the filter in a way that combats your throughput concerns while also adhering to the dimensions of your equipment. And this is where pleated wire mesh excels. For over 150 years, WS Tyler has helped customers innovate the way they do things by helping them understand the fabrication process needed to produce wire mesh filters that perform the best every time. So in this video, we'll go over what it means to pleat wire mesh, what the wire mesh pleating process consists of, the benefits of using pleated wire mesh, and also the drawbacks of using pleated wire mesh. Pleating is a fabrication process where you fold a material to create small and even folds, forming peaks and valleys. This creates another dimension in the mesh and allows for more surface area within the identical diameter of a cylinder wire mesh filter. Wire mesh can be pleated by a process of pressing the mesh between two rollers, which will shape it into uniform pleats. Over time, this has gone from a rougher process to one with tightly controlled variables, namely the depth and the frequency of the pleats. But depending on the angle of the pleats and the alloy being pleated, you may need to anneal the mesh to prevent the pleats from like breaking or cracking the mesh. A good rule of thumb though is to follow this. The sharper the angles of the pleats, the more likely annealing is required. There's several benefits to pleating wire mesh. For example, creating more surface area in a filter by adding pleats makes it more efficient by increasing the amount of debris it will hold, which allows you to build more filter cake. By introducing a greater surface area, you reduce the chance of clogging the filter in a given period of time as well, allowing for a prolonged lifespan. The process will allow you to take less space to create more surface area, which can also be helpful when working in applications where you have limited space. So, with any material, contouring the shape into pleats can change the aperture structure. If you don't have a highly controlled process, this can create uneven pore sizes in your filter. Pleating is also an added process, so a pleated filter will be more costly than a filter of the same diameter if you're using the same material. You're going to use more material for a product of the same diameter, so if the material used is a premium, you could considerably increase the cost of that filter. But some multi-layer materials don't pleat well, so not every filter media will be available in your filter design. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.